Apart from combustion, auto oxidation is also another reaction that uh, use the concept of chain reaction. Uh, auto oxidation can be defined as autocatalytic process, and it is an oxidation that converts alkene. Okay, uh, converts alkenes into alkyl peroxides. Uh, through auto oxidation but I think with the help um, but uh, but um, it happens uh, automatically right o and auto -catal catalytic with um, of course the, the help of catalyst so kalau you tengok chemical reaction yang ini alkenes uh, oxidized with, and produce um, alkyl peroxide so of course the first step is uh, initiation and these two must be the propagation in which um, this one is oxidation of radical R's and then um, the uh, radical uh, will react with alkene to produce the alkyl peroxides. So o 2 x Oxidation, um, it's quite dangerous in which uh, here we have to emphasize on the safety because it is the organic chemicals and it can react with um, oxygen in the air at room temperature and with the concept of chain reactions. So it will... Um, that's why all your alkenes in the labs, it has to be put um, properly under in the chemicals cabinet, and you cannot simply uh, you cannot simply open um, in open air in open um, uh, open area. It has to be under vacuum. So um, the it will form the organic peroxides in which that it consists of C and H atoms. Um, it is spontaneous. It could um, it could uh, up, um, the explosion could happen, um, especially when you shake um, or you simply open the cap in the open area. And this organic peroxide is very exothermic um, and it produces um, the amounts of heat uh, upon its decomposition. Okay, more on the uh, definition of auto oxidation in which this reaction happens spontaneously, especially if the oxygen pres the presence of uh, oxygen with the presence of oxygen. All right. Um, and then the first step is of course the initiation steps, and then it propagates, propagates, propagates. You know, even it will happen during uh, at room temperature. And it, the reaction also depends on um, the uh, different capabilities of dissociation depends on the reactants. Um, and then the initiation step also can be photo-induced in which if um, the chemical, chemical uh, bottles that contain alkenes, for example, is exposed uh, into sunlight or UV photons, so it will dissociate and it will initiate and it causes the chain reaction much faster if compared to the dark. So meaning that for safety, it's better to put your chemicals under the dark, um, uh, under the dark uh, cabinet or closet. Okay, example of octo oxidation, it could um, octo oxidation could happen uh, to any organic molecule, or whereby the compound compound has uh, alkyl al alkyl 
a fragment which is consists of carbon, hydrogen or oxygen atoms. And then this organic molecule with the presence of um, oxygen, it will undergo the oxidation reaction. Um, for strong bonds of alkenes, it requires a higher temperature in order to break the RH um, bond. Right, so the main chemical equation just now um, already, already um, introduced to you an example of auto oxidation. Um, for example, alkene with oxygen to produce the alkyl perox peroxides. So the, sequence, the, the chain reaction sequence um, could start with the initiation in which the alkenes um, uh, to it will up up. Uh, decomposed into uh, C and H radicals and then the radicals will be oxidized to produce the uh, radicals alkyl and then the radical alkyls to, to combine uh, with alkene to produce the alkyl peroxides and another, uh, another alkyl. Okay. So this is initiation, oxidation, which is propagation, and this one is also propagation. So it looks like the auto-oxidation has no um, termination step. So maybe we need to put uh, the scavenger or poison in order to stop the reaction from happening. Uh, thermal and chemical autocatalysis is also another type of oxidation reaction that um, may uh, use the concept of chain reaction. So for example, chemical autocatalysis, examples of reactions may be um, enzyme promoted fermentation or chain branching reaction. And then autocatalysis, um, so it is a reactive intermediate um, that can act as catalysts to promote the reaction. The catalyst is generated by the reaction by adding promoters of it to initiate and accelerate the process. I think the autocatalysis has been defined to you previous in previous uh, videos. So please, you can uh, revise again on the meaning of autocatalysis. But the point here is um, autocatalysis and chemical autocatalysis um, is also types of auto-oxidation reaction that use the concept of chain reaction.